Season four of Movie Feuds is officially done and with it, five starts up. But we're gonna look back on this season and look at the 50 episodes I did. I gave you the ability to vote on each one of them and today we're gonna go through the first 25 in the series. In my next video, we'll do the last 25. We're gonna see how they stacked up with your results. We're gonna see how they stacked up with my opinion at the end here. This should be exciting. Let's get started. This holds a special place in my heart, but it's really just a shit movie, let's be honest. At the end of the day, it's pretty bad. You guys agreed with me. I won this one against my friend Derek. It's a nice way to start season four of Movie Feuds. Let's hope this train continues a rolling. I thought Smog was fun, but ultimately an empty affair being stretched out into three books. That's what's going to happen when you don't have the source material to work off of. Harry Potter I thought was a nice trip. It was brilliantly executed. A lot of you agreed, but not enough. This was a losing battle for me right out of the gates. I think we all saw this coming. I was also foolish enough to have my brother come out of the show as if his ego isn't inflated enough already. This episode has over 2 million views and he of course thinks he's the reason for it. We all know that's not the case. Gravity is a beautifully shot space survival flick, but one that felt a little bit empty. It's more like a ride than a fully realized film. Another family member, notably my wife, comes on to feud and another family member wins. I don't understand how Toy Story could lose to the Lego movie, but there's a lot of kids on YouTube, so that's just the way the, the Lego crumbles. The original Robocop is a great movie. The sequel felt like this, or not the sequel, the remake felt like this rushed cash grab. It didn't have anything unique to say. I was a bit disappointed by how close this feud ended up being though. I lost, but I really don't care. They're both big budget dumbass movies. They're a horse apiece, or whatever the phrase is. This was a feud for the best superhero film, not just film. Yet somehow, of course, Dark Knight pulls out over the Avengers. That sounded really bad. My cousin Drew was on, he won, he's smug as hell about it, but I can assure him that's the last time he wins on this show. Because he's never coming back. He came back. He won again. <laughs> this was a f***ing massacre. I knew Captain was going to win, but I didn't think it was going to be such a landslide. Mark Ellis comes on and we battle webheads. Somehow The Amazing Spider-Man 2 beats Spider-Man 2. This is ridiculous, folks. You need to check yourself at the door if you think that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is better than Spider-Man 2. Two amazing, heartstring-pulling films by Pixar go into the ring. Thankfully, Wally wins. It's one of my faves by Pixar, and it's finally another win for me. I was on a very downhill slope. It's time to climb back up. Well, that was a cluster f now, wasn't it?
I kicked Greg Miller's ass in this feud and it felt very good. Concern is Greg Miller was the cherry on the because I think he's awesome. He actually came back on to do a game feud. Spoiler, he lost again. I'm on a hot streak now. I'm not monkeying around. I'm getting a lot of wins piling up. DreamWorks finally gets some love on this show, yet still no Shrek episode. Season 5. I'll do it season 5. And this is another win for old Adam. If you want a surefire victory, bet on a dragon. Every time. The line of YouTube took a break from reviewing every movie ever to come on my show and feud which movie was worse. X-Men 3 was my own personal hell. I'm glad you agreed with me. Sorry Chris Stuckman, maybe next time. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea which way I was actually pulling on this episode, but this feels like a win. I'm going I'm to take, take this one too. Harry Potter. Cloudy 2 is a great follow-up to the charming first flick, but you can't keep a good minion down. I did a face-off with Jonathan Paula on a Worst vs. Worst episode, and even though he ended up winning, by looking at the comments, we both lost. This is an episode you guys asked for. I am not a big horror movie fan, so I forced myself to sit through both of these movies. I was pleasantly surprised by their mediocrity and not just full-on terribleness. And the one that I wanted to win, did. Kick Frozen's ass, I'm happy you lost, oh yeah, f*** you, Frozen. I'm gonna be frank with you, and you can be Tom, of course. I, I just wanted to see The Dark Knight lose to something, alright? So I put it up against Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, it was a new movie, it did really well in the reviews. It's a great film, I actually do like it more than Dark Knight, but this was a ridiculous idea, okay? Tom Chettlebash won, this was his call, this was bullshit, and this is Saturday Night. There's the first 25. I'm going to cover the next 25 in a few days, maybe a week, whenever I get around to filming again. 14 wins for me. That's against other reviewers, and that's just against my own personal enemy, myself. You voted with me more times than not, though, and that means I'm doing something right. 14 wins, 11 losses. I want to hear how you did. Do you remember even what you voted for? Did you even vote for all 25 of these episodes so far? Put it in a comment below. And remember, this is more than just reviews. This is Movie Feuds. We'll see you soon. We'll see you very soon. Tom Chattelbash.